I came here essentially knowing that there were a billion different subjects I was interested in and it was it would be uh, more beneficial to weed out the subjects I didn't want to study um, which I had two and I figured I'd take one class of each um, just to say that I gave it a chance so I took a biology class and fine I'm glad I didn't do that and I took a drawing class and I absolutely fell in love with it. I had no interest in doing art whatsoever. Mm. And then I took painting after that and then just sort of fell into taking as many art and art history classes as I could. The title of my thesis is Paraphernalia Paintings. I have 11 paintings and four pieces in my show. And there were two diptychs, a triptych, and whatever it is with a quad. First and foremost, my interest was in making a beautiful work, like a beautiful body of work. And I wanted them to be conceptually rigorous. I put these in groupings, and I wanted the groupings to establish some sort of narrative, I guess. So, the first two, as you walk in, is a flashbang, which is a tactical grenade. Um, used by the military, you throw it around a corner, it emits an insanely loud bang and a blinding flash that literally blinds people for five seconds. It's this momentary flash that is beyond all other light-making devices in the world. And on the other hand, you have this domestic object you can buy at any hardware store, any supermarket, that is supposed to last for like 10-15 years if it's left on the entire time. I really enjoy painting these objects in this enormous scale. Um, there were two paintings that were the biggest. Uh, one is back there, the light bulb, and a uh, painting of a flashback. And I just liked having those huge objects. It was very satisfying to me to see these like one of them is like this very domestic object that you see all the time be glorified, be, be uh, turned into this, this icon. The art studio community is great. A lot of nice people, a lot of people who care a lot about creating meaningful things. And I would say for the most part, everyone is very self-critical, which is also incredibly important. It's really nice to see someone who makes something that's great, and they think like, well, yeah, but next time I'm gonna do this, you know? People who are constantly thinking of, of what can be done better, and, and where they can go, and what they're saying, and, and, and the implications of every action they have in making the art.